Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, welcome back to Morrowind. And as you can see by our map, we're next to the Ahamusa camp. I kept putting more syllables in there than there were, but that's okay. The Ahamusa camp, here we are. Crunch. Hello, Pakwar. I like this because you can observe their little eyes. Ooh, hello. All right. Who are you? No one knows who I am, sure. All right, let's see here. One of these, they said they don't have an ash can, just a wise woman. Um... Show me a wise woman, thank you. Your what? actions precede you, Outlander. I've heard good things about you. I don't know what that means, man. Glucans. Come to claim the name in Reverine, speak to the wise woman. Show respect and speak to our Glucans. Speak in their yurts. Greetings, Alfred. Greetings. Are you it? Oh, boy. Help me. Greetings, Outlander. Uh, don't I know you from somewhere? Do you have some? Boy, do I, but no one will let me. Three blessings, sir. Where are the Galukans? What is this odd world bullshit? Kausi. Yanamu. Greetings, Alexander. I think I've heard of you before. On the grace of God. Come to claim the name in Reverine? I hope you do come to do the deeds of the Reverine. We need the deeds, not the name. Must speak to the wise woman. We are a poor sad tribe without an Ashcan, led by a wise woman. We are its Gulakans. We say this with shame, for we are weak and helpless as children. Go to her, tell her you will do the deeds of a hero, and save Ahamusa. Maybe then you will be able to earn it. Gotta be difficult. All right, you raggedy old woman. Are you that outlander? You're goddamn right. Another prophecies. No an outlander, clan friend of the Urshalak who has done great deeds, comes to fulfill them. There is no Ashken. I speak for the tribe. I'll examine your proofs. You'll tell me the story. If I'm satisfied according to custom and with reference to the prophecy, I will name you. No reverie. We need a safe place, and you will provide it. In seasons past, when threatened, the Ahamusa could take shelter in the ruins of Aldeidra. The priestess has come and restored the Daedric Shrine, and worshippers of Sheogorath dwell there, protected by terrible sorceries and summonings. Go to Daedra, Aldeidra, and make it safe. When you return, I will accompany you there, and if it is a safe place, I will name you No Reverie. Hey, so we got another uh, fetch quest. Or, um, escort quest, rather. Where's Aldeidroth? A great distance north. So good to see you. Ring a ding ding. All right. A great distance north as the cliff racer flies. Do y'all not have crows? Because it's fine if you don't. Right, this one is a little more logical. Just go north. 
verify the safety of the place by killing everyone inside, go south, tell them it's safe, bring her north, and we're done. Open and shut case, problem solved. At least that's the plan. I guess I should kill these guys for my return trip, huh? Delicious draw wax. Oh, brother. Are we going to have to swim around this when I actually come here and do this quest? Because if that's the case, I'm going to be very put out. They look at this giant, golden, glowing man. And they're like, give up. You couldn't possibly take us. We're three homeless people with some sticks. Your advanced training in metal armor has no chance against our shit-stained pants. Bandits in Morrowind. Just scum. Yes, I'm Bandit. Who are you? What do you want? Uh, I'm the Reverine. No, you're the false incarnate and the devil of lies. Kindly chosen by Azura, but you curse the tribunal, call them false gods. I mean, I, I do those things because they are, but I don't worship no, Stagoth Ur. Did you just summon a corpus guy? Demon mace. He had integral shit on him. <laughs> Dickhead. Oh, the rats. Were these the guy the things you were talking about? Starting get to get the sense I may have become overleveled. You may speak. Who are you? What are you doing here? Um, the Reverend. You in oh man, you're gonna get it now. Oh, for... Luckily, I've got some Sujama with me. Oh, here we go, huh? Is this guy wearing blackface? So confident. Scum, the lot of you. Oh, 
Can you even see me, guys? Oh, they're a little civil war of their own here. Why are they wearing the... What do you have, Demon Mace? Amoral. Dombra. Scum the lot of you. I really slacked off on modeling Shea Glorath's taint there. Will I? This is unfortunate. Oh man, I can't go into third person when I'm paralyzed. That's unfortunate as well. <laughs> Should I? Do I happen to have a thing that'll fix this? Maybe that. They're using my own stupid technique against me. Like, with these many combatants, I don't think that's possible for me to succeed on this many saves. Dickheads. Come on over. How does it feel to Look, you guys killed me once and it won't happen again. All right, there you go. I can match blades with Daedra pretty reliably. What chance do you guys have? Weapon here. Dwarven spear. Crap. Well, how do you there? I'm here to loot the shrine. Oh. him please Jesus oh right what a little bullshit Ooh, what are these? Goodies. I 
I really like how they put it on the little guy. Hey, I got another level. Jeez. This is this is a ruckus in here. No wonder that they can't even get in this place. This is this is B A N A N A N A S. Yes. Here to loot the shrine, right? All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Next. Hello there. Oh, it's it's Azura. Hi. All right. Is this cleared out enough for you? Do I need to do more? Check my little mappy moo here. Oh, that leads ahead as well. I didn't notice. Man, you got it pretty rough, huh? She got here. Iron potion of light. Whatever. have Indoril stuff on. A little random. Meanwhile, these schlubs just have, like, a bunch of other random shit on. I mean, Prod Sword. Ooh, unfortunately, I already have one of the best fucking long swords in the game. Elite Ordinator. Oh, are these guys supposed to be ordinators? I guess. Goodness knows what they're up to out in here. Man. I feel like I write pig's ear for selling all of my uh, Mark stuff. You may ask your question. Meow. Make it quick. What's now? Plead the pitiful case of the Anamusa. Poor little savages. Oh no. You're elitist. Well. I have you. Wish I could say I'm sorry. Oh, she's already dead. Want a drink? Got anything you want? Free drinks, it's on the house.
He's a game sugar. What a wacky day. I guess I'll just make my way out and head back south, huh? Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't open this, so... good four paw that was very clearly just a guy going Grrr. So I mean to show every, like, active part of the main quest on screen. But in this case, I guess that includes... Um, in this case, I guess that includes the walking part of this. Because there is not very much going on with this quest here. As near as I can tell. I want to avoid... Um, like, I want to not, like, do too many things per episode because I'll burn myself out recording it. And the more things I do, the more at risk I am of uh, the game screwing up. while we're here let's okay saving works but yeah I've been getting more and more save bugs as it goes on I just deleted a whole bunch of my saves um, the earlier ones so hopefully that might help um, no guarantees Yeah, I'm hoping it helps. Okay. Like two thirds of the way there. <laughs> Imagine flying into the sky and grabbing a really annoying bird and just slitting its throat right there. That's what I'm doing. What a power move. You know, if this was Skyrim, I wouldn't be allowed to save in the air. Of course, partially. That's uh, mostly a good thing, but, you know. Man, so in Skyrim, you can adopt kids, right? And you can give those children Daedric Knives... There's a mechanic where you can give them um, certain weapons to defend themselves, and it's meant to be like the wooden sword that they just added, or something like, you know, a simple iron dagger, because you know, something simple like that, but it'll accept any dagger, so you can give them like crazy raw shit. Okay. I will accompany you now. When you brought me there, I will see the great statue of Shio Gorath. I will know you have made Aldeidra safe for the Amusa. I will name you Ereverine. All right. Um. Oh, hello there, son. 
I heard a little peep. Come here, get some pets. There he is, there's my boy. He's getting very chunky. A little more, a little, little more of a look. There he is. Becoming a very chunkly little boy. He's still afraid of company a little bit. Oh, she's got water walk on. <laughs> oh my God, what are you doing? What in the name of God are you doing? Where's she going? I am... Okay, she's coming back. I guess she's done. Are you... Are you for real? She's just sprinting all over the top of the water looking for things to kill. She runs faster than me. I guess it's because she doesn't have much in her inventory. Die. What? Oh, it's that. Okay, can we go north now? Yeah, yellow company. Bullshit. Fucking walking on water. Bullshit. Chasing slaughterfish down. Bullshit. What the hell? What a load. All right, we're like halfway there. We're like 40% of the way there. If you can resist the urge to go kill something in another province, we'll be there in a couple of minutes. God, she looks so stupid running on the water. Probably gonna have to go around all these rocks here. Lady, if you feel confident enough to just run around and kill all these slaughterfish, why am I here to help you make the trip? Oh, I'm not waiting for you. Motherfucker. This, this is kind of rinky dink operation do you think I'm running here you know the other person that I traveled with would just let me handle things bad idea to save there okay Are you still with me, or have you... Where is she? Okay. Okay. Gonna stay on the land for a little bit now. Is that alright with you? Crazy, crazy woman. 
Tell me, does Ahamusa happen to mean suicidally overconfident? Because if it does, I figured out what happened to your ash can. Still recording, right? Yep. This is rather silly, I think. All right, gonna be able to make it up this cliff? Okay. I have no idea how much faith I should put in her. Normally I would exhibit like zero faith to any like escort quest that I'm subjected to, but like in this case, I have no idea. Are you with me? Good. Rotten hell. No more peeps. See, the thing about him, the thing about Vash, my little cow cat, is that he's still a very scaredy boy. And he has difficulty, like. Thank you. I said I would accompany you to see if you made it safe. Familiar conditions. She'll name you Neverine. She'll also name you Ahamusa Neverine, war leader of the Ahamusa, protector of the people, and give you this mad stone. It'll be assigned to all Dunmer, you're the Reverine, and only the Ahamusa can, shall follow you in all things, even unto death, till the enemy is defeated, until you are dead. Still only briefly, let's return. Cool. Alright. The Madstone. Whoa, that thing looks gnarly. Now, let's get out of here quickly Aldrin is seriously the closest place that's fine actually I've got a plan all right we're still here and we have been named the reverend of three of the four tribes but we also have only one of the three houses that I've named us Hortisor and wouldn't you know it House Redoran is based here. So yeah, this is the fighter's house, more or less. If you're to join House Redoran, you've come to the right place. You're a fraud. Hide behind the false prophecies of the Incarnate and Reverie. But you're an agent of the pay of the Imperial Intelligence Service. You're an outlaw without honor and cannot hope to be admitted to House Redoran. Okay, I'm listening. What if I bribe you a hundred gold? Damn. Well, anyway, let's keep looking around here. Wow, sweet digs. House Redder knows how to deal with you. Nice. Why are you here? Well, I'm trying to become Hortator. That's apparently going to be a problem. See, so yeah, I think this is what they talked about. Because they were like, hey, if you become Nerevarine, a lot of people might not like you. And that's very true. Becoming Nerevarine has made us unpopular in certain places. I'm doing this out of order, so I need to be first named Hortator, and then I can join House Redoran, because I intend to do so. However, we can actually just go around and talk to all these people, which is what we're actually supposed to do. Alright. What do you want? But yeah, all of these mansions. Go places and do things. Now unfortunately we cannot kill these people. As we would be able to with the Telvani. It's Council of House Redoran. Very important. Uh, why do you ask? That's ridiculous. If you're my friend or someone important, I might listen to your nonsense. Beryl Salas is your Imperial spy, 
and a pretender. Can we hurry this up? Look, man, I don't want to work for the Emperor. I hate what? that guy. I hate that guy more than you. Trust me. Why are you so, yes. Rather unpopular. Apparently, I can't tell them about my murder of Caius. One moment. Hey, all right, wrong house. This guy. Told a remarkable story. There's a ring of truth. You may have been deceived, but I believe you. I may be able to persuade other counselors to believe you. As a condition of my report, support, I require a favor. Rescue my son from Venom Manor. First manor to your right when you enter Scar. He's being held in Venom Manor. Keep him with the right wing of the manor. Don't kill Bull and Venom, or they will turn against you. Do I know this? It's like a KOTOR quest almost. And Scar is the main building that we're in right now. Venom Manor. There it is. So let me just... Do huh? I know you? Sir. Sir. There you go. Let me just scootily boot my way over here. Is there something? In the right wing. I know my lefts and rights. I'm a big boy. Okay, so that's the entrance. Here we go. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? None of your business, Outlander. No. Sounds like it's being made my business. It's being made worth my while, in fact. Go ahead, Outlander. What you want. Is there something? I guess this probably isn't the right wing anymore. Go under the stairs and up the ramp to the second level. Maybe it is this way. Show me to your boss, please. Jeremy soul blown up my ears. None of your business. Mm. Well, where's your boss? He's right over there. Is that so? Hey, we've got the same hair. And you've got some pretty cool gear. I've got a lock splitter with your name on it. All right. Don't kill him. Okay. Well, sir, keep our special guest in the room behind the tapestry. Make sure it's locked at all times and that he's under guard. If he's escaped, I will blame you from V. <laughs> Whoops. Did my father send you? Are you here to rescue me? You're goddamn right. Follow me. I really love how you just walk through it. 
Man, you have no armor, huh? I guess they'd want to strip you, but... Also, why were you being held here? Oops. Go back around this way. I really did, like, all three fetch quests, one after another after another. All right, now let's go. Sorry, I'm an alcoholic. My character is, not me. Come on, solid brass never felt so hard. Okay, cool. Whoops. Is there something you need? <laughs> you know the way out? Because that's all I need. All right, cool. Presumably he'll take the long way around. And he is in Sarathi. There we go. Pardon me, sir. I love that he teleports to you. Thank you. Made it home safe. My son, Varvar Sarathi, you returned it to me and I am in your debt. You rescued my son and I'm forever in your debt. Serzo thanked me. You rescued my son. Words cannot express my gratitude. I name you Hortator of House Rhetoric. I use my influence to... Uh, I use my influence with the other counselors. Last, there's one obstacle. Bolin Venom will never name an Outlander Hortator. If you have the full support of the council, he may agree to an honorable duel. Hmm. Can we hurry this up? I like the sound of that. Let's go talk to the other people, huh? I believe that's what I should do now. All right, here's the second guy, Garissa Lethry. What can I do for you this time? I spoke with Ethan. I like what he told me about you. You get things done and show good judgment. Your story's crazy, but your story doesn't matter to me, as long as you can do something about Dagoth or his servants. I'm making my choice. I'm making you my choice for Hortator of House Rhetoric. Well, thank you, sir. I love becoming Hort. Like, I, I love this feeling of, like, everyone's like, you know what? You are fucking nuts. But you're also the only person who is fucking nuts enough to get shit done. So you know what? You're in. You know? You're hired. I love that. I love that vibe. I love that feeling. Um, I believe I mentioned this before, but this building is called Scar, and this area under Scar, because that was the name of the giant crab that this used to be. So there is a book that you can get that shows you the names of all these guys. Oop, how's that? Don't need that. Uh, that shows you the names of all these guys. I don't need it, um, but I've missed it as well. Here's the third guy, Minor Arobar. I actually accidentally jumped past his mansion while I was running, but... Must explain why you've come here and quickly. No speeches or excuses. Use your words with care. I'm a council of house veteran and a busy man with many duties and responsibilities. Not want to stand about idly and chatter on about the most trivial subjects. Um, he believed your story and says you can be trusted. I've known him since he was a child and I have absolute faith in his judgment. Please accept my apologies for not seeking you out and accepting you at once. Forgive me for also believing these rumors about you being an Imperial spy. You have my vote. Minor Aerobar hereby confirms Galena Pitchblend as Hortator of House Rhetoric. Tell the other counselors I have given you my blessings. Thank you, sir. I love this. I love... Like... It makes me feel like I am really a part of Morrowind. A part of its culture and country. Um... Right. Where next? Sarathi Ramarin. So this was a giant crab, and at one point, um, in times of serious, serious war, uh, necromancers, because recall, necromancy is not as frowned upon in this part of the world as it is in others. Right, right, okay. A little out there. 
um, they will use necromancy to reanimate these giant crab bodies and send them out to go kick ass. And so they're essentially like giant warships or mechs, which is just fantastic. So I believe I've got a bounty on my head because I did do some theft to get some things done. Private quarters. Why are you do a little here? save here. Lord of West Gash and a counselor of House Rhetoran. Uh, yeah, sure. All right. I don't know if I'm missing anyone. Let me check here. All right. Minor, Garissa, Hlaren, and Brava Morvan. Bar Brara Morvan. In the Rerun Council Hall. Okay. So now we're going to the big place again. Do I know you? you totally do. But as I've got some stolen goodies with me, I'll talk to you later, good sirs. Hey, yep. But yeah. Like some people find this part of the uh, this part of the main quest a little tedious. What's your story? Oh, this is it. Yeah. So um Yeah, Archmaster Bolvin Venom, he's the problem. Arabar is on our side. Hlaren Ramaran is on our side. Brava Morvain working on her. Athen Sarethi, totally in on us. And Garissa Lethi. And you can see that they also want to impose a Terrafon Flynn. Ooh. Give sanctions more time and all that shit. You look like you know what you're doing. Can you help me? Uh, lower level, northwest of the entrance. So here. Why are you here? Can we hurry this up? Uh, what hello. Do you want? Sithy, please your story. I have my doubts, especially with the rumors you're spy for an em for the Empire. But life cannot be lived without risks. I agree we need a Hortator, and I see no better candidate than you. Let the record show Counselor Morvain confirms Galena Pitchblend as Hortator of House Rhetoran. So yeah, some people think that this is tedious, of just like, yeah, just run around in circles, talk to people, whatever, fuck you. And believe that it's here to fill time. I'm not so sure... But I do admit that in the Elder Scrolls, there's a lot of things that are there to fill time. Um, if you look at the main quest in Skyrim, for example, it is pretty much designed to drag you all around the map and force you to go to every main hold. Um, and what's more, the home of every single uh, guild or main group. So, like, you go to Whiterun and you're confronted with the companions and you need to go to the mages college to get some help with the elder scroll and you need to run through the thieves guilds uh holdings in riften to go find that one guy who's a part of the main quest you need to go to white run you need to go to um solitude and speak to the two opposing factions in the civil war do you need something outlander with my influence they have all except bolin bolvin if any counselor were killed or murdered, all the other would refuse to name you Hortator. Venom is tyrannical and unjust, and if you were to die in a duel or fair fight, no counselor could find dishonor in it. I guarantee it. In fact, if he dies in an honorable death, I, I will continue to plead your case with the other counselors. The duel is an honorable tradition dating back at least to the founding of Resdane. Each party fought, uh, each party of the duel makes an agreement as to the compensation that they will be given to the as to the compensation that will be given to the winner. The loser is legally bound to this agreement. Most duels are fought until one party admits defeat or falls in battle. The duel to the death is less common and only ends when one party is dead. The winner may take what he wants to the loser's possession, but some consider this dishonorable. All right. How's Venom? Here we come. Morag Tong. We might come back there, actually. I hate the Dark Brotherhood, but I love the Morag Tong. For the same reasons, actually. I 
I think he was in here. Or no, he was in the private quarters, right? <laughs> Ignore these guards I assaulted. What's up? But yes, the quests in the Elder Scrolls are usually constructed in a way to show you around the main map all over the place. So we've been doing basically just the main quest, but you can see that we've circled around almost every part of the map. We have some blank spots here, 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 and here. And none here, but that's the DLC. So you have the support of all the other counselors for title of Redder and Hortator. You've played your tricks with the other counselors, but they will not work on me. This has gone far enough. If you are not a coward as well as a fraud, I will put a stop to your ambitions at the arena in Vivek. I will meet you there if you dare to face me in a duel to the death. Meet me at the arena. We will fight in the duel to the death. Challenge me to a duel. You know the drill. We'll be right back. Hey, and we're back. Take me to the arena, good sir. Thank you. Always weird that the gondolizers are not next to their gondolas. So we have to be careful because we might get in trouble here because we're wearing this helmet. I'll take this off for now, actually. But let it be known that I ha I should have more right to my face than they do. Oh, hi. Okay, sure. Yes, Alvander. What do you want? Two seventy gold? Oh, whatever. It's fine by me. The arena, thank you. Lies between the Redoran compound and the Telvani compound. Arena is the site of public entertainment and combat sports. Comfortable domed arena, seat has seating for hundreds of spectators. Yes, I'm just trying to find my way to the... Yes, Dunbar? What do you want? Um... Just looking for... Citizen. Can you help me figure out where I'm supposed to be going? Actually, can you train me? You can. Ooh, Poggies. Damn, out of money, though. My short blade skill keeps getting higher and higher. I'm actually uh, nearly at the cap for it. What do you think, Oz? Oh, it's fine. Yeah, one thing about Vivek is that a lot of the places have the same general sort of interior, but are still very confusing. What is it, citizen? You guys got some big locks on these boys, huh? Do you have? All right. Um. Well, I'm listening. Well, this is unhelpful. Maybe up here? Oh, here we go. There is what now? Oh, it's him. Uh, let's go then. Wow, you're kitted out. They throw a little sword down there for you. All right, what are you wearing, son? Hey, we've got the same haircut. Ebony gear. Um, word? Wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah? Um, and then let's get the hell out of here with a bazoom. Ebonheart? Yep, here we are. I 
I imagine casting Alm Civi Intervention in Vivek, you know, the V in Alm Civi, would not really get me very far. It's unfortunate there was no alternative. I should speak with Athen again. You know, I am very pleased that there was no alternative. Also, wow, he's kitted out with ebony gear? <laughs> Shit, dude. No wonder that, like, he's like, yeah, I'll duel ya. If he's that kitted out, bro. Let me get this off camera. All right, we're back in. Um, I looted some of the armor off of our friend uh, Venom and combine it with the rest of the things I was already wearing. I've decided to stop wearing the Dragonbone queer ass. However, for whatever reason, I didn't drop it at my house in Balmora. Um, so that's taking up space in my pack, but you know, it's all right. Athen, talk to me, baby. You've slain him, the rightful... What? All right, there we go, cool. We're in agreement, you're the Hortator. I hope you were successful in persuading the Western Morrowind to unite against Dagoth Or and his bladed, blighted hosts. On behalf of the ho House and Council, take the Ring of the Hortator, token of your office. By this ring, others shall know you. I also have a sealed package for you. Don't know what it contains, but I received it from contact in the highest ranks of the temple. My guess is that it has something to do with the temple's position on your claim to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecy. Here's a copy of a recent public notice identifying you as an Imperial agent. I'm satisfied of your sincerity, but others may not be so understanding. Hello. The outlaw named Glinda Pitchblend, stated trade of Buff Boy, lately called incarnate in Nereverine, is shown is now shown to the investigator ordinaries and magistrates of this district to be an agent of the pay of the Imperial Intelligence Service. This outlaw's claim are false. Prophecies as outlaw sites are discredited. This dishonest character and base purposes of the outlaws and perpetrating the hoax are made clear by two observers. Glitter Pitchman is sought for various crimes by ordinators and town guards. Report to all report all encounters with this outlaw to the proper authorities. If you see him in public, give the alarm. Hear and heed. Dickheads. What else do we get? To the Outlander, lately proclaiming his identity to the Reverend to be delivered with haste. The assertions made being in direct contradiction of the doctrine of the Tribunal, namely that you're the Reverend, the reincarnation of the sainted Lord Nerevar, are, in addition to being against simple teaching, incredible and implausible in the extreme. The revelations made by the Inquisition, namely that you are yourself an agent of the Imperial Intelligence Service, otherwise known as the Order of Blades, lately made with substantial evidence by the High... Lord High Arch Ordinator, Burrell Sala, further calls into question the validity and motivations of your claims. Incredible as they are, as much as they are in direct contradiction of the teachings of the Temple, and tainted as they are by the inferences to be made upon your close association with the covert policies and interests of the Emperor, the interests of the Temple and the leadership, and in particular, are the interests of his Lord, of his Imperial Lordship of Vec, are best served by a close and personal examination of the claim being made, and close personal examination of the motivations and character of the claimant. The temple, through its examinations of its records, in particular the records of the hierographer and apographer, is intimately familiar with the many and varied claims and signs and feats that would mark the reverie in accordance prophecy. Therefore, in the event of fulfillment of certain of those most remarkable and scarcely credible claims, namely that the claimant should at one time be the acknowledged holder of several ancient titles of power and authority of the Dunmar people, to wit, Hortator of the Great Houses and Nerevarine of the Ashlander tribes, the temple proposes the claimant of the identity of the Reverend shall present himself for inspection before his Reverend Honor, Archcanon Lord Tholer Sarioni, Ar High Archcanon and Chancellor of Avec, Archcanon and Ch yada yada yada, for review and consideration of his claims and identity. Until such time as the claimant has been named Hortator separately and jointly by the three houses of Avec, at the same time been named Reverend separately and jointly by the four tribes of the Ashlanders, there is no purpose in reviewing or discussing these claims. Because of the Temple's official positions on the prophecies of the Reverend, and in the interests of preserving the security of the claimant from those parties who wish to do him harm, it is convenient that the claimant of the title and reverend shall present himself in secret to Archcanon Sarioni 
in the Archcanon's private quarters in the High Fan of Vivac. To signify agreement with these terms and conditions for meeting with the Archcanon, the Reverend Claimant may present himself to the healer of the High Fan of Vivac, Danso Injules, and the necessary agreements arrangements will be made. Once again, no purpose is served by meeting until the claimant is named Hortador of the Great Houses and Reverend of the Tribes, written at the request and in the name of his Reverend Honor, Thuler Sorioni, yada yada yada, yada yada yada. All right. Cool. So, uh, that was a really, really good episode. <laughs> We were named Nureverine and Hortator, and we now only have one of each remaining. That's very convenient for me. And what's more, um, that means that we're running out of time in the main quest. So, um, I'm not sure what I'll do. I guess I'll... I wanted to join House Rhetorin. You can only join one of the three houses. The Thura Glitch, I believe you can join Redoran and Halu, but I don't like House Lalu. Uh, Alright. You sure you want to join? You cannot join any other great houses. So be it. Your hireling, Galena Pitchblend. I'll inform our trainers, make use of them, and give you duties. Alright, cool. So, I can do these off camera. Um, I will probably do some of them on camera just to read some more lessons of Vec. But until then, I've been Alfred, Nerevereen of most of the Ashlander tribes, and Hortator of most of the Great Houses. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, have a good day. Thank you for coming by, and see ya.